Today in this 2012 Cadillac SRX, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster diode kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-15267. This diode kit will allow you to have all the necessary and required by law lighting functions that you need when you're flat towing your vehicle behind your motorhome. These diodes will also help protect your vehicle's expensive electrical components from any electrical feedback that may occur between your motorhome. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get them installed. A good time to run your wiring behind your front fascia is when you're installing your base plate. We already did that so we can begin hooking up our front connections. Slide the wires through it. Black dust cover for our connector. And you can see these little Phillips set screws right here. Let's back those out for the ones that we'll be working on. We'll start with the ground wire, which is this terminal right here. Be the white wire. Undo the set screw. Insert the wire. Tighten the set screw on down. Now we'll do the left turn signal, which will be the yellow wire. Now we'll do the right turn signal. Now we'll do the tail lights, which is the top one. It's the last wire you have left, it's the brown wire. With all of our wires nice and secure, we'll push the dust cover back on. And we will wrap some electrical tape around it just to ensure that we have a nice waterproof connection. Take our connector and we'll secure it to the mounting point on our base plate using some self-tapping screws. Now we have a good, solid place to hook our wiring harness that'll go to our RV. All right, now to figure out where we're gonna route our wiring from the front of the vehicle, let's start with removing our tail lights. Open up the rear hatch first. Now we'll need to remove this black plastic piece here, which covers up our tail lights. There is a trim panel fastener right here. We'll just pop out the center of it and remove the back of it. There's a little slot. We can start working it in. You can slide the tool in, pull out the center, pry the back off. And this panel should pull forward like so. Then we have two Phillips screws to remove in order to get the taillight assembly out. The screws out. Let's grab the taillight assembly and pull it towards us. Now, for light assembly out, let's start with disconnecting the bulbs and the plug in for the LEDs. Now, we'll be pulling the wire up from the driver's side. I went and grabbed a red airline here, which we'll use as a pull wire. We'll just fish it down through the bumper until it comes out the bottom. Now that we have our pull wire down, we'll start routing our wire. With the wire on the inside edge of our subframe, we'll go over the back of the subframe and under the rack and pinion. We'll take some long zip ties and we'll secure it to the inside edge of the subframe here. And this will keep it away from any moving parts.
Now we're at the back of the vehicle in front of the rear suspension. Let's slide it up and over the rear subframe. So this wire loom here, this will keep it in position and won't make it slide down further up, causing it to drag on the ground. Continue going over the subframe. And we'll go over the rear sway bar and around this existing wire loom. We'll route it up and over this exhaust hanger. We'll secure it again to the wire loom on this side. Now I'll tape the end of our wiring harness to this pull wire that we dropped down. All right, now that we've got our pull wire out, let's go ahead and pull up all the excess wire. Now let's take a pair of side cutters and start separating the individual wires on our harness and pulling them back. With our wires all separated down here to the base, we can take our white wire, which is our ground wire, and cut it about here. There's an existing ground right here for a trailer tow wire harness. We're going to remove that screw and ground to the same point with a ring terminal. Strip our wire back, a quarter of an inch, like so. Twist it. Put our ring terminal on the white wire. Crimp it down. Remove the screw that holds the existing ground in. Put the white wire on. Reinstall the screw. Got a nice solid ground there. This yellow wire here is the brake light signal wire. We're gonna cut that and we'll use that for our turn signal and brake light combination. Take our blue spade connectors. With the yellow wire from our tow harness already connected to the input side, on the diode. We can have the yellow wire that goes to the brake light on the output side and we'll connect the vehicle side to the other input. Now this purple wire is the wire for our tail light. Pull back on this loom here a little bit. We'll cut the wire here in the middle. Let's strip our wire again. Take one of our blue crimp spade connectors and put it on the wire going to the tail light. Crimp it. Take another one of our blue spade terminals crimp it onto the other end of the wire. 
take our dio pack out, going towards the taillight again, and then one of the ends on the vehicle wiring harness. Now let's take our brown wire from the tow harness, cut off just enough so we have something to work with. And strip back about a quarter inch. Now using some of their excess brown wire that we have, We'll strip back one end of it. And we will combine both brown wires and use the yellow spade connector. And we'll crimp it down. Then we'll connect that to the end on our dio pack. The other end of the brown wire that we have will run across the other side of the vehicle. All right, with all of our connections made on the driver's side, we'll take our brown wire that we're routing over to the passenger side for the tail light and the green wire, which will be our right turn signal and a right brake light. So I'll just use a plastic panel tool so I don't scratch anything. Then once we get to the passenger side, try to work it behind the bumper cover a little bit just so it'll clear the tail light panel. Now we'll take our green wire, that'll be our right side turn signal and brake wire. Cut there. Strip it on both ends. Put our spade terminal on. Both of the wires. That we cut, we'll get a blue spade terminal. Take one of our dio packs, connect it to the inside, and the out, go towards the bulb. And we'll take our green wire that we ran over from the passenger side from the tow harness. Cut off a little bit of it just so we have enough to work with. Install the other spade terminal. We'll connect it to the other input on the dial pack. Now, on the tail light connection that we're going to use, we need to find out which one of the three wires provides the hot signal to the tail light. Now, as you may have noticed, where we, ha we didn't test the wires on the driver's side, but that was because the vehicle already had an aftermarket tow package on it with the wiring harness, so we were able to easily identify what wires were what on that side. This side, however, is a different story. So you always want to make sure if you don't know where your wires are, you test before you make any connections. With our tail lights on, the hot wire here is the one in the middle. It's this brown wire with the white stripe. You cut it right here about in the middle. Wires back on both ends. Attach our blue spade terminals to both ends on it. 
take our dio pack, the out going towards the taillight assembly, the in going to the vehicle wiring harness, take our brown wire, cut off any excess we may have, strip some back, crimp on the last bay connector. Plug it in to the last input on our taillight diode pack. Then if you put a little bead of silicone between the two tabs on the input side, it'll help prevent a short if any electrical corrosion should build up from electrolysis, from salt water spray, or so just put it between the tabs. You want to make sure that you do that on all the tabs or between all the tabs on the input side on all the diodes. With our connections made and the silicone applied between the tabs, it's a good idea to wrap everything up in electrical tape just to provide some added security from moisture, dirt, and debris. With everything taped up, Put our bulbs back on. We make our electrical connections. With our tail lamp assembly back into place, we can go ahead and reinstall our screws. Let's put this black trim panel piece back on, reinsert it, and we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, now we'll test our functions. We'll do the combination left brake light. We'll do the combination right brake light. and we'll do our tail lights. And that completes our look at an installation of the Rowmaster Diode Kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-15267 on this 2012 Cadillac SRX. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave a comment if you have any questions.